SwiftUI's list likes to work with arrays of objects that conform to the identifiable protocol, or at least can provide some sort of ID parameter that's guaranteed to be unique. However, there's no reason these have to be stored properties of a view. And in fact, if we send in a computed property, then we're able to adjust our filtering on demand. In our app, we have three instances of prospects view that vary only according to the filter type property that gets passed in from our tab view. We're already using that to set the title of each view, but we can also use it to set the contents of a list. The easiest way to do this is using Swift's filter method. This runs every element in the sequence through a test you provide as a closure, and any elements that return true from the test are sent back as part of a new array. Our prospects view already has a prospect property being passed in with an array of people inside it. So we can either return all people, all contacted people, or all uncontacted people. So add this property to prospects view below the previous two. Var filtered prospects, array of prospect, switch on filter. If it's none, we'll return prospects.people. If it's contacted, we'll return prospects.people.filter $0 is contacted. And if it's uncontacted, we'll return prospects.people.filter not $0 is contacted. When filter runs, it passes every element in the people array through a test. So $0.isContacted means does the current element have its isContacted property set to true? All items in the array that pass the test that have is contacted set to true will be added to a new array and sent back from filtered results. And when we use not $0.isContacted, we get the opposite. Only prospects that haven't been contacted get included. With that property in place, we can now create a list to loop over the array. This will show both the title and email address for each prospect using a vStack. And we'll also use a for reach so we can add deleting later on. Replace the existing text view and prospects view with this. List, for each filtered prospects, prospect in. vStack, alignment.leading, text, prospect.name, dot font, dot headline. Then text, prospect.email address, dot foreground color, dot secondary. If you run the app again, you'll see things are starting to look much better. Before we move on, I want you to think about this. Now that we're using a computed property, how does SwiftUI know to refresh the view when a property changed? The answer is actually quite simple. It doesn't. When we added an at environment property to prospects view, we also asked SwiftUI to reinvoke the body property whenever that changes. So whenever we insert a new person into the people array, its at publish property wrapper will announce the update to all views that are watching it and SwiftUI will reinvoke the body property of prospects view. That in turn will calculate our computed property again, so the list will change. I love the way SwiftUI transparently takes on so much work for us here, which means we can focus on how we filter and present our data, rather than how to connect up all the pipes to make sure things are kept up to date.